Your name? James Haskell. Your position? Back row. Your specialist chosen subject? <laughs> Myself, obviously. That should it be that or Harry Potter. I genuinely saw this the other day on the, the England Facebook thing and I thought, I could do Harry Potter. I could do Harry Potter. I could do Harry Potter. Your name? Gary Potter. Your position? Seeker. Your chosen specialist subject? Harry Potter, of course. Uh, yeah, Gary Potter, he's like a stepbrother or something like that that they didn't know about. And Lily got with a half giant, didn't want to tell James about it, and then I, <laughs> I popped out. Not a full giant, half giant. You can say that, it's a thing, it's a thing, it can. It can. There's a half giant. Hagrid's a half giant. His brother Grawp's a full giant. Knowledge. Which Harry Potter word is now in the Oxford English Dictionary? Muggle. Correct. Name the seven Weasley siblings. Ginny, Ron, Charlie, Bill, um, uh, uh, Fred, George, and Percy. But we don't like Percy. He's an idiot. Unbelievably correct. Thank you, you're welcome. I'd probably replace Ron as the, th the third one. Harry, Gary, and Hermione. Which Hogwarts professor teaches transfiguration? Professor McGonagall. Correct. What are the three unforgivable curses? Uh, Avada Kedavra. Um, the Imperius and Crucio curses. Correct. I quite like uh, Felix Felicis, the lucky, the lucky potion. Do that before the start, start of the tournament, you know it'd be guaranteed. Um, I could do with that. Or, or Imperius would be quite good. I could do it to my missus, make her do all the Actually, to be fair, she looks after me quite well, but I'd, I just, yeah, I like to control a few people. In Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, a magical treat creature. Let me do this one more time. Yeah, good. <laughs> good. Let me just um, put a spell on you to help you. Um, Despeakers Maximus, there we are. In Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, a magical creature named Fluffy guards a trap door. What kind of creature is Fluffy? Fluffy is a, uh, a three-headed hellhound. Correct. So why Harry Potter? What's the, um, where does the love come from? I read a lot anyway of lots of books, but I uh, really enjoyed Harry Potter. Uh, I was a late, a late comer to it. It was one of those things where we, my miss and I spent a lot of time in the car together and we wanted to get some audio books um, that we could listen to and we heard Stephen Fry was reading them. He's obviously amazing. So we, we've, we've ventured through all of them. We're on the seventh one now. I have been listening to it without her. She's not happy. It has put strain on our relationship and may or may not end it. But other than that, it's been really good. You never know what's going to happen. Is he going to win? Is Voldemort going to win? Will he get the elder one? Who knows? You know, I'm gripped. And that's, I listen to it every night before I go to bed. I don't know what Courtney Laws thinks I'm doing up there, but, <laughs> but, but, but yeah, I'm flat out listening to it most of the time. And lastly, third year students at Hogwarts get to do two things they weren't allowed to previously do. What are they? I know one of them is uh, visit Hogsmeade. The other one, I'm thinking, it's got, I think it's something to do with a lesson, like you're allowed to do divination or something like that. Is that right? <laughs> yes. I'm so much better at Harry Potter than I am rugby. What does that tell you? Should have been a wizard. James Haskell, AKA. Gary Potter. That is 100%. Thank you. Thank you. Um, can I keep the cape or what? Just for like research purposes. Definitely won't take it home and wear it.